And here we are with the first part of my LP. Pokemon Sapphire. And this is Professor Birch. And he is the Pokemon Professor of the Hoenn region. At least I think it's Hoenn. I can't pronounce anything in Pokemon because it's all weirdly spelt and stuff. And I'd rather not watch the anime because to me the anime is horrible. I'm going to name myself Vinny. Like, you know, I should. Okay, so it's Vinny. Yes, it is. Thanks for asking. Okay, you're Vinny, who moved to the hometown of Litterroot. I get it. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just going to skip through all the text because it's all basic. Oh, look, this is Pokemon, in case you haven't played the other two games. And our adventure starts off where we have been stuck in the back of a moving truck because our parents don't love us. So they stick us with the laundry and the cupboards and all that other crap. And they can't even leave us anything. It's a wonder we're not dead. Oh, hi, you survived. Yeah. Basically, that's what she should say. I bet she was just trying to kill us off for life insurance. Yes, it is convenient that you can get Pokemon to do stuff for you. Of course, these Pokemon are like... One's watching TV, and the other's just going back and forth, so... This is called, uh... Proficient working. Anyways, we have to set our clock. But, uh, apparently my emulator's battery, or whatever the hell is going on, is broken. So nothing's actually gonna work, so I'm just gonna say it's two. Why not? Sure, it's two. How do you like your new room? I don't know. It's pretty awesome. Basic. And there's a computer. With, I will grab my potion. Because you never know when you don't need that. Okay, just get me out of the damn computer. Anyways, there's a GameCube. Which if I had, I would use to actually do the game. But I don't, so... I have to use an emulator. And after that, it turns out that something important's on TV. Oh look, Petalburg Gym. Which is apparently where my dad is the gym leader. And so, you know, that means I have two parents. One who doesn't care about me and throws me in the back of trucks. And the other who moved here, probably in an effort to get away from his wife. Because his wife is probably a dimwit. Anyways, this is the lab, but we don't actually have to go in the lab, so screw it. We'll just barge into someone else's home. And she doesn't even care that I'm, you know, just barging into her home. You know, don't even knock, just barge in. Oh, look. And it's May, who has a flipped version of my room. So, Little Roots town is, you know, pretty basic. Little Roots town, ta Little Root town also only has two uh, buildings, but there's more than two families in this area, so I have no clue what the hell's going on there. Okay, so there's May's family, then there's my family, there's the lab, and then there's these random people, but whatever, who cares, they're not me. I can hear someone shouting, what should I do? What should we do? Somebody has to go help. I'll do it, because you're the size of my pinky. And Professor Dimwit here decided to go into the tall grass without any Pokemon. He's a Pokemon professor, but he doesn't have any himself. And so there's three starters, the fire, the water, and the grass. I'm choosing the fire one because it's probably the best one, in my opinion. When it evolves, at least, because that fighting type knocks out so many other problems. Also, Scratch is a better starting move than Tackle or Pound, because it has 100% accuracy, the others have 95. And Scratch also, I believe, is 40 damage, base damage, while the others are 35. I'm not so sure about that one, but... 
Scratch is much more reliable than Tackle. Especially when Tackle decides it wants to miss. And so he decides to give me a Pokemon. Because, as you can see, he obviously doesn't need it. And, to follow the rules I made, and held at gunpoint made, I have to name him. So I will name him Blaze. Because it's just a really cool name. And so, me and Blaze will start our adventure, traveling through the careless world of Hoenn. Sure, I'll go find your daughter and see what she's doing. Because God knows you can't. And so, now I can leave this shithole of a place they call Little Root. And... Let's see if I can find some wild Pokemon to train on. Come on, give me a wild one. There we go. It's a Wurmple, which is like Caterpie. Just even stupider. Because, I don't know. He easily dies, and I need to probably level up. Anyways, this guy gives me a free potion. So I'm going to talk to him and get it. And he talks about potions and Pokeballs and crap. And how you can buy them at the Mart. Because, you know, who would have thought? Uh, I probably won't actually use these potions. Because I never actually use any of the items I'm given. And so, I'll take on another Poochiana. Who, uh, Poochiana's not that bad. And I level up. Woo. And so, there is May up in the top right corner. Oh cool, a Zigzagoo. Level 4, meaning he's worth XP. Oh no, Growl, the horror. Of course, if he like constantly spammed Growl, I'd be like doing one damage, but wild Pokemon are not that smart. And the trainer's Pokemon aren't much smarter, but uh, they do do a bit better. Anyways, to save time, I'm just gonna use the potion instead of going to the Poke Center. And so here's May, and I'm going to take her on. And um, she's behind in the times because she's looking at a tree, which the only way to get wild Pokemon would be from Generation 2 using Headbutt, or Generation 4 using Honey, but not Generation 3. So she's uh, just a little slow today. Oh no, not a battle. And May becomes my rival in this game, and like all rivals, except for the one in Pokemon Yellow, um, they use one of the starters, which is really good against your starter. Except because, you know, it's the beginning of the game and all we have is Tackle and Scratch. Uh, not much of a challenge. And Mudkip goes down. And I learned Focus Energy, which I will never use. And May is down. I think. Blah, blah, blah. No, May, you're not allowed to think. And so we head to the Pokemon Lab. And... I'll probably end it here after going to heal. Uh, which, this is a Pokemon Center. I guess I should end it off with the explanation of this. You go in here, you talk to the lady, and she heals all your Pokemon, no matter what they have, and there you go. And I will continue tomorrow, where I will leave Little Root and Oradale and head to my first gym. Well, yeah. And so, that is all.